Hey there, welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how much money I make from YouTube with less than 3,000 subscribers. So if you're a new YouTuber or a small channel, this is something you're going to want to see because it takes time to get monetized, as you know. And if you don't know, I've got a video above. Um, go ahead and, and see that on how to get monetized if you're not already. Um, it, but it takes time and everybody has a different amount of time that it takes. Everybody's on a different journey. And one of the things you need to do is just strive to meet those goals, with, which are are 4,000 hours of watch time and a thousand subscribers and again I go into more um, detail on that video um, how you apply and things like that but it takes time and what many of us do is we try to compare ourselves well so-and-so got there faster or, or I'm not getting there fast enough and then people give up and I'm making this video because I want to encourage you to keep on keeping on don't give up so I got monetized back in December of 2019 and then January I made my first paycheck and it was 65 let where do I have it written down $68 and 10 cents now the disappointing thing was I didn't get a paycheck until March when you get monetized from YouTube you have to make hundred dollars before they'll give you a check so what they do is they just hold it for you so if you only make thirty dollars your first month and maybe sixty dollars your second month you're gonna have to wait another month to get paid they always pay 30 days after the date that um, at the end of the pay period if that makes sense so um, in January I got paid sixty-eight dollars and ten cents it was a, like a two-week pay period and then February I made hundred and twenty eight sixteen and I in that whole pay period it wasn't until march that it got paid out around three weeks at the end of the month so around march 21st and i was paid i've added it up 196.26 so for just getting monetized that was my first check and i was so excited and one of the things um that i want to show you is this is where i don't want you to get discouraged because it is very very exciting but one of the things i did not realize my expectation was this thing's going to keep on going up keep on going up and just go and it's not it's a it's a roller coaster and it wasn't until i heard a larger channel talk about it actually um, somebody who has like 400,000 subscribers that i watch she was sharing that in september everything in her channel went down and the, and the odd thing was in september everything for me went up and i don't think it had anything to do with her versus me as much as that's just the way the business is things go up and down like a roller coaster and just ride don't get discouraged i'm going to show you my stats for the last um all the way up until august i'm going to go ahead and pull those stats up here on the screen and as you can see here um, i keep a little uh, spreadsheet uh, in one note i made a little table but as you can see in march i went um i had 111.57 so compared to february i went down right away by the third month i went down in my what um i went down in my views my watch time went up my subs went up but my money went down and i'm going to bring you into my analytics in a minute and show you that that the analytics um you keep hearing i keep hearing that you get about seven to nine dollars per thousand views and i don't believe that's true i don't think that's a good way to put that out there because that's not very high i'm going to show you some of my um analytics on my channels of how much i'm making and you can decide for yourself i'm not even going to come up with a figure because they're not cons consistent they're all different it depends on what my videos is, is about it depends on what kind of ads are placed on the video all right so in april i did go back up to 156 dollars and 31 cents as you can see here my views went up my watch time went up but my subs remained the same now you can see this average over here I have, I'm going to show this to you in a moment, but I have a little um, on vidIQ, if you install it, um, right at the top, it has live time watch hours. You can just pull it up anytime. And I like to watch that. I like to see how am I doing. And during this time, I was consistently 400 watches per day. Um, and the same thing in May. But in May, I went down a little bit in my money, but my subs went up. So see what I'm saying? It's not consistent across the board. The views went up, the watch time went up, the subs went up but the money went down so again it has to do with the ads that are being watched not so much that you're not getting attention um june i my subs went way down i did a, a little bit of a nose drive dive um but my money wasn't too bad it still stayed within the vicinity 149 dollars. but the average view every 48 hours started dropping 300 to 400 and then um july i made 177.79 now what i want to show you 
is how much money did I make in September? And this is what I really got excited about because I finally broke $200. So let me go ahead and bring that up for September. And as you can hear, see here, my views, 5,800. Now, if you remember on the chart last month, I had 6,000. So my views are, um, they're up, but there was a month that I had 6,000 views and I didn't make $200 is what I'm trying to show you. Um, my watch time was consistent around my average and then my subscribers was 77 and I made $200 and 72 cents. I was so excited and it did, it does motivate you more because that's why we're doing this. Now I've seen people make comments in other people's videos when they talk about how much they're making and they're like whoa that's not even enough money for all the work you have to do i don't know if about you but what motivated me to start this business is i read a book called rich dad poor dad and one of the things that stuck out in what he said in that book was you have to be willing to work for free before you can appreciate getting paid. And that has really stuck with me. And it's actually something I try to teach to my grandchildren. It, they come out and visit me and, um, you know, sometimes I give them a little bit of money for helping and sometimes I don't. It, it really depends on their attitude and, and, and things like that. And it's a surprise. It, I don't want them to expect something every time. And it's not that I'm trying to teach them that, you know, that they shouldn't get paid, but I want them to appreciate being able to help and do things for the joy um, of it and not always expect the money. So um, I have a link for that book. If you haven't read it, I highly recommend it because it, it really is, is really, really good. All right, so where am I right now? If I go over here and look at where I'm at today in um, September, this is this was re really exciting too i always look at my analytics every morning i know i've, I've heard some youtubers say don't look at that every day but i do it's exciting to me um because i want to see am i making more am i getting more watches and, and here's the little watch time now now today is sunday when i'm filming my video and i have noticed i kind of track i've noticed around sunday monday tuesday um sunday monday are probably my two slowest days it starts getting slow on Saturday over the weekend. It picks back up Tuesday through Friday. This will absolutely be four to 500 now. And so it averages still probably 450 right now. But um, this is showing me in 48 hours how many um, people are watching live. And you can see that. And so see, this is dropped, this is dropped. And it, and it shows you everything in live time. And that's vidIQ, I've got the link below for that too, if, you, if you're not using it. They have a free version, I believe. And, and that is why I like vidIQs because I just really like having this at the top of my channel. But right now, and today is the 13th, even though I'm posting ahead, I've mentioned before that I always make my videos ahead. And this is only 13 days. So I'm pretty sure if I keep up just the way I have been, I'll definitely pass that 200 mark again. Now let's go in and look at some analytics, okay? This is my analytics. I went into overview and then I went right below where it says see more. And I went ahead and set this for the last 365 days. I do not do it for the life of the channel because for a whole year, I had a lot of views and watch time that did not get monetized, if that makes sense. So I know that within this, you know, not even in the last 30, 365 days, all this stuff right here is not monetized. But I want to give you an idea. Um, you can see here where most of my money's coming from, which videos over here. Now, a lot of people say you can figure out your, um, your income, your ad revenue, um, by, by how many, um, watches you get, like per thousand, the CPM, according to, um, every thousand watches you get $2 or you get $7 or you get $9. And mine does not show that. I'm going to show you if I go back to the last 28 days. Let's go look at the last 28 days. Here I have uh, Who's Sweet versus Buffer, and I've already made $38 um, from them for this month. So most of my money comes there from there. But if you go down here to another video I have, I get most of my subscribers from that video. So even though the top video makes me more money, the third from the top makes gives me more subscribers. So your analytics aren't just cut and dry different videos are going to bring you in different benefits is, is what i'm trying to show you so don't get discouraged if you have a video that's making really good money but it's not bringing in any subscribers keep on promoting it it's doing something um, for your income yet you may have another one that i have one video that has very little watch time on it but it has a great velocity it has 
lots and lots of views, it has a fantastic click-through rate, and it's making me good money, but for some reason, it's not being watched a lot. But I left it alone because other things are playing in. Um, here are some other, um, I have another one, Hootsuite versus Loomly, $27. And if you start going down here, these are in all in order by what the income is. If you go way down here, post planner tutorial. I made that video, gosh, way over a year ago, and it made $3. And actually, I was promoting post planner as the um, social media platform that I was using at the time. I, um, anyway, had a little run in with the owners. I made some money, didn't get the affiliate money for it. And so I just quit the program. Um, and that happens. Sometimes you sign up for an affiliate program and they don't honor their thing. And I was kind of mad and I thought, I'm going to just take that off of there. But it is making money and maybe other people are using the program and they like it. I don't dislike the program. I just dislike the affiliate program. So I don't have an affiliate link with that company, but I still left the video there. I do have one here, Active Campaign. It's making $2.69. Now here's another thing you can look like at your click-through rate. We talk a lot about your thumbnails and a click-through rate of 2 to 10% is good. Now what, look at this one down here. I've got a 19% click-through rate, and you might say, well, that's fantastic, which it is. I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with it. It's not getting watched a lot, though, but it's only bringing in like $3.29. So even though a lot of people are clicking it and watching it, it isn't the ad on it doesn't bring in as much money so that's one of the things you're going to start noticing i don't want you to get stuck in your head that every single video is going to bring in the same amount of money per thousand views because that's not true um, how that works which ads bring in more you're going to have to look at your own videos and compare and see what those are i hope this was helpful i really wanted to show you what i was making to encourage you and i know some people think you know i i've had family members even say you've been doing this you know and, and that's all you're making and i'm excited i'm very excited i was very excited when i had my first subscriber my first three months was very very slow i had no idea what i was doing i just jumped in and tried to figure it out all by myself um then started watching videos and getting more tips but the first three months i had eight subscribers i'm just being honest with you because i didn't know what i was doing i didn't know what keywords were i didn't know what analytics were any of that stuff but once i started using those things things started to pick up slowly all right so don't stop keep doing it and it will happen so if you're getting your first subscriber if you're just under 100 it's exciting you will be making money one day and the neat thing like i said these videos that i made a long time ago back when i wasn't making any money are now bringing in revenue and that's what's exciting that's where the passive income starts coming in all right i hope this was helpful tell me down below if you got anything from this video um, if you have any tips or anything that you'd like to share with the um, audience in the comments feel free to do that and i'll see you on the next video thanks for watching